Hi everyone, Release Fire here. So the Rejector Seat is out in, uh, in Rage 2. It's a new cheat code and I'm going to show you how to get it and how to use it. If you've not used cheat codes in the game before, they're relatively easy to get to. You just need to get to this place here, which you can see on the map. So if you get close to Oasis and head over in this direction, you should find it around about here. And then when you head up to the vendor, you'll talk to Mangu and he's got a whole load of Mangu secrets for you to choose from. And it's this one, the Phoenix Rejector Seat, that you're looking to get. So you need enough money to be able to buy it. So you need $2,000 uh, $2, to be able to get it. Now I didn't at the time. So what I did was I kept on, uh, kept on getting these cars and bringing them back to Gun Barrel. So it only took 10 cars, but it's a really close location to gun barrel that I kind of focused on and by doing that it didn't take me more than like I don't know 15 minutes to be able to get the 2000 that I needed so it was a quick grind and the uh, the kind of bandit den that you're looking for is called underpass it's really close to gun barrel so you should be able to get in the Icarus fly over really quickly get a car drive it in 10 of those that's your 2000 done and dusted and then once you've got that you can then fast travel back on over to Oasis and then back to Mangu and get the Phoenix Rejector Seat. So as soon as you've got that in place, there is a little bit more to do. So the next job is that you need to actually upgrade your, uh, your Phoenix, if you haven't already, with the Ejector Seat. So without the Ejector Seat, you won't be able to get the Rejector Seat. So you need enough auto parts to be able to upgrade the Phoenix if you haven't already. You can get those by taking on convoys. You can buy some from the vendor. You only have so many, but you can buy some. I needed an extra five. So just about got over the 30 line to be able to get the ejector seat just in time to be able to get the rejector seat. So all kind of worked out in the end. But yeah, you've got to kind of jump through a few loops if you haven't done all of that before. So as soon as you've got enough auto parts, you can just upgrade the, uh, the ejector seat in the Phoenix, and then that will allow you to apply the cheat code. Now you can do that from the pause menu by heading on down to settings, and then what you're looking for is cheats. Now you should be aware that while you're running with a cheat, your, uh, your save throughout that time doesn't earn you any trophies. But once you turn them off again, you'll be back in with the trophies from that point onwards. Uh, but that's it. That's how you uh, how you get the rejector seat. And that's essentially what it looks like. You can see the car flies up and you stay on the ground. So you can go straight in with the attack. And it works quite well. However, it kind of really flies. So you kind of... I was hoping to do some damage to somebody as I was coming into this recharge station. But obviously didn't. And even if you do throw it far enough away, you've only got to miss by a little bit to miss them. It's not a good idea to fire them at the, uh, at the convoys. You just get run over. However, randomly I managed to survive that whole fiasco somehow, not sure how. One of the places where the, uh, the rejected seat does come in handy is with these kind of roadblocks where the road's blocked and you would have crashed. So if you can just about get the, uh, the rejected seat in place, you should be able to flip the car over the top of it and then do some damage without hurting the Phoenix too much, which kind of works out quite well. And then if you can line things up with enemies and you're far enough away, you can throw the Phoenix into the mix, which kind of does a good job at disorienting everybody around there. So you can kind of run in and do some damage. And then obviously if, you're, uh, if you can get a good lineup, and do it close to, you can just run straight in with the guns blazing. So again, it's a good way to, uh, to rush a gang. What I found is that it's probably best for just randomly attacking people, but you can fire it at a sentry. It didn't really do any damage whatsoever, even though it was a perfect strike. Kind of feel a little bit gypped as a result of that. But that's it, that's the rejector seat, how to get it how to use it, how to unlock it. Hopefully it helps you out. If it does, drop us a like below. You can also follow us on Instagram at releasefire, which you can see at the top of the screen. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left-hand side. You can check out our t-shirts and hoodies with the link just below that and see more of our videos for Rage 2 with the links on the right-hand side. Leave any comments below. Let us know what you think of the rejector seat and I will catch you next time.